So in that last one, we ran into a little issue if the user was authenticated or excuse me, not authenticated um, and they're trying to add a comment. Um, we wanna use a decorator in some of our functions to actually require them to log in. So it's gonna redirect them to log in basically is what the decorator will do. And this decorator comes from Django itself. So contrib.auth.decorators import a login required. And we just add the decorator here right into above the comment function. And we can say login URL equals to a specific URL. Um, you can also in your settings without setting this stuff, you can also do login URL equals to login. Uh, so that's something we'll change in just a second. But let's go ahead and check out this delete function. So let's go into a comment into thread and then go to delete. Notice I am not logged in. That is an important part here, but it does have this next stuff. So this is giving us the next page. So since that's the case, since we have a next page on our form, uh, what we wanna do in our views for login, we actually wanna get the next page. So in here, I'll say next equals to request.get.get and we'll say next. So notice it's automatically giving us this next parameter. So this will grab that next parameter so if we'll say if next, then we will return redirect to that parameter. Very simple, something that you could do in the register view too, um, if you wanted to make them register and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna copy this and bring it into our register view. So then after they finish registering, they will jump into the next one. Um, if next is empty, this will be none, and then it won't actually do anything. Um, but what's cool about that is then now with our login view, if I log in as somebody, so we'll just say, let's log in as CFE, we'll log in, and it gives us, you do not have permission to do this, which is cool, but um, it is showing us that it, it actually went to that page itself, um, which is pretty cool. So if I went back to one that I actually have permission to, delete, which was the this comment right here. I can go into that thread and just type delete. Actually, I don't need to type delete. I can click on the, the thread itself, confirm, and it's deleted, right? So I actually can't delete another user's thread at this point because we already set that up, which is pretty cool. Um, all right, so now that we've got that, we do need to fix this post function because I am logged in, but let's go ahead and log out. And now that I'm logged out, I should be logged out. If I do this post, it gives me this anonymous user is not iterable. Um, so all that means is in our form for posting, so this is gonna be inside a post detail, this comment form right here, we wanna make sure that the user is authenticated. So if the form is valid, um, that's one thing, but we also wanna do and if um, request.user.isAuthenticated, Make sure you use those parentheses at the end. Then it'll actually go through this stuff. Um, so that is essentially saying that you actually need to make sure that the user is authenticated. But we also wanna have a, like inside of our template, we wanna make sure that this is the case too. So let's jump into our template and in post detail, we're gonna look for the comment itself. So the comment form is here. And we'll say if request that user dot is authenticated, and authenticated. Then we'll show that form. Otherwise, we'll just put a paragraph text in here saying, you must log in to comment. Close off that paragraph and close off that end if. And we wanna do that same thing inside of our, our child elements here as well. So inside of that form, just do the exact same thing. All right, so we refresh in here. It's gonna not let us even do it. And notice it says you must log in to, to comment. If we go to the thread, we wanna do that same thing on the thread. Um, so inside of comment thread, the comment itself, if request user is authenticated. And then again, we wanna else, you must log in to comment. There, will be, there would be a more clean way to do this, but it's not something we're gonna do at this point. Um, so we're gonna refresh again, it says you must log in to comment, cool. Um, we do wanna make sure our comment thread also has that validation on the form or the view itself. So let's go into the comment view and here's that form again. So lastly, we wanna say and is uh, request.user.isAuthenticated again, 
save that. And now we actually can't submit the form without the user being um, authenticated. Okay, cool. So the last, the very last thing is that login um, required what we did here. This login URL, again, you can change it on your settings. So just jumping into settings, you can just have your default login URL right here. So let's just say login like that. And now I'm gonna go back into that view um, that did the login required and we'll just comment that out. This decorator will now go to the default. So again, let's try and delete something here. Delete and it takes us right back to login. Um, of course, th the nice thing about this is you could possibly change how you want the login or where you wanna go directly on the decorator because your default login might be just slightly different um, than what you wanna do for logging into delete, for example. Um, but that's it. So that's what we've got for the blog itself. We did cover quite a bit in this um, and we did make some, some pretty big advancements. Um, if you have any questions on what we've done so far, let us know. Otherwise, let's keep going.